my name is Nathan Samarisky, and I'm the Statewide Collections Manager here at the Arizona Historical Society. Today, we're going to be going behind the scenes and looking at the collections vault at the Arizona Heritage Center. So let's go take a look. Here, we have over 24,000 objects dating from the late 1800s to the present. They relate to topics in Arizona history ranging from mining, ranching, and agriculture, Arizona businesses and domestic life, to Arizona's military history and the post-war boom. Our collections follow the political history of the state through objects relating to important figures like Barry Goldwater, Sandra Day O'Connor, and Rose Mofford. Our art collection showcases how the people living here have viewed Arizona and the West through artists such as Marjorie Reed, Maynard Dixon, and Ed Mel. And finally, if you grew up here in Arizona, you may recognize the names Wallace and Ladmo. The Arizona Historical Society is lucky to have in its collection costumes, set pieces, and other materials from the Wallace and Ladmo Show, which aired on Arizona television from 1954 to 1989. Having a space like this is so important to the work that we do here at the Arizona Historical Society. The vast majority of our collections are actually here in storage, not on display. In fact, it's estimated that any given museum has, at most, 10% of their collections on display at any given time. Because we have so many things to care for, we need a safe and secure place to store them so we can preserve them for future exhibits, researchers, and for you, the public. These objects serve as a gateway to the past, and it's our duty to make sure they're not damaged in any way through human error, environmental factors, or from other objects. For example, we wear white gloves when handling museum objects to prevent any oils or contaminants from spreading to the object and damaging them. Lighting is also important, especially when it comes to textiles. After prolonged exposure to light, the vibrant colors on our textiles can begin to fade. That's why we try to keep our textiles covered, storing them either in acid-free boxes or covering our hanging racks with drapes. Organization is also important for the preservation of our objects. Plastics, for example, will naturally degrade over time and emit gases that can harm other objects. We also need to be careful to separate our noble metals, like gold and silver, from our base metals, like iron. When a noble metal is touching a base metal, it creates an electrical current through which electrons will be transferred from the base metal to the noble metal. While this will preserve the noble metal, it will cause the base metal to corrode even faster, especially in higher levels of humidity. So we need to make sure that these types of objects are stored separately so we can preserve all of our collections. Even though we already have over 60,000 objects in our collection already, we at the Arizona Historical Society recognize that history happens every day and it's important for us to collect objects now to preserve them for the future. It's a lot easier to collect based on current events now than it will be 20 years from now. This is why at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, we decided to reach out to our communities and collect stories about different experiences. We understood that this global event affected everyone and that it would be something we would need to talk about in the future. We were very lucky to have received so many great donations, some of which are currently on display at the Arizona Heritage Center. Well, that's it for today. We hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at our collections vault. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you again soon.